Hey guys, welcome to my channel Karibu ni sana. If you're new here, hi Karibu sana to the family. On the sixth video, I'm going to be showing you how to make butternut squash soup. So if you've never had this soup before, it is a very healthy soup and can be served to both adults and children. So if you're interested to see how this soup is made, let's stick on and let's get this video started. So we have one large carrot that has been diced. We have one small onion. We also have spring onions. These are optional, you can just use the red onion instead. Then you have our main, the star of the show. We have the butternut. We also have blueband or butter. Then we have, here we have, oops, one teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste. Then we are going to be using some salt, as you can see. Then we have plain yogurt or mala. This is one cup. Then here we have sesame seeds, as you can see. So this is just going to be for the garnish. And we also have chia seeds. So, okay, yeah. so we're going to start off by chopping this butternut. So first you want to chop off this side here and then you want to chop off the other side here and then now we split it into two. So using a sharp knife, one and then now two. Be careful because it's very hard. Next, you want to hold it steady and split it in the middle. Like that. Okay. We are going to remove the seeds here. So using a spoon, you want to remove them. You can store these seeds for later, you can plant them, you can dry them. Yeah. So we'll come to the next one. I'm going to be putting the list of ingredients down in the description box. So go there and check that out. What, what? <laughs> okay, so you can either peel using a knife, but it's so hard, so it's dangerous. So I'd prefer if you have a peeler, just use the peeler. Or another alternative, you can boil it. <laughs> And then it's easier to remove the skin. So we're not going to be peeling everything. We want some skin full of nutrients. Our butternut has already been cleaned. Now we want to slice it into small small cubes not very small just slice it into cubes and we're good to go yes like a professional dicing the other one off camera and then yeah we'll see you in the sufuria okay so now we put the butternut in the sufuria and then you want to boil it as you can see we've left some skin because you want very good nutrients water enough to cover the butternut okay this point of we're going to be draining off the excess so don't worry if you put excess okay so next we're going to be putting some salt just enough 
because it's sweet and then we are going to cover it and let it cook okay so i'll see you guys after the butternut has already cooked so our butternut is ready as you can see so you know it's ready when you can pierce through it's like a viaz you can pass a fork or something so now to transfer this into a plate and then I show you how to kanga and make it soup. I've rinsed the same soup here that I was using. So I'm going to put some oil just enough. Then I want to let it heat up so I can put my onion. I want to spread it around. So I'm going to be putting in my onion. So you want them to cook halfway or until they are slightly golden brown. And then you throw in the garlic and ginger paste. So yeah. As you can see, they have started to brown. So I'm going to release the heat and then this is just one clove and garlic. One clove of garlic, sorry. And then I'm going to add in some salt to taste. Then the next thing that goes in is the carrots. So you want to cook that. As that is cooking, I'll also be adding some blue band or butter, just like a tablespoon for the taste, okay? So this soup is going to be made of very natural ingredients, no spices. So next up, we're going to put our butternut, as you can see. So I'm going to put it without the water that I used to boil, but don't pour it. You can alter with the onion, you can add more onions, just to your liking. Now we want to let this cook so that all the flavors come together. So I'm going to put some water, or not water. I'm going to be putting some of this leftover water that I use in boiling, just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to cover and let everything mix. So let's see that. On this channel, we don't wash our quinoa and ginger. We put some water. So we put some water so that we can get that garlic flavor. Then we want to stir this. It's been about two minutes. Also guys, the importance of browning these onions is because it gives it a different, amazing flavor. So, right about now is when I'm going to be adding my plain yogurt. This is to give it such a creamy, can you see? This is optional, if you don't want it creamy, you can just put water. So I'm going to be putting all this the whole cup. Just like that. Then you want to let it simmer. It has simmered, so we want to turn off the heat. Then blend it. So we let it turn it off. Yeah. Now we move to the blender. Okay. 
Okay, so we've let it cool to the bowl. Now we're going to pour it in. Pour it in the blender. Looks so nice. You don't know what you're missing. You've never had that much. I'm just going to put some water to rinse this off. So we are done blending. As you can see, this is the thickness that we are going for. You can always add more water if you find it too thick, but this is just fine with us. So I'm going to be serving it and then just test. So I'm going to go in with some sesame seeds. I'm going to take just logo. Like that. And then I'm going to garnish. Like that. Then I'm going to be putting in some shea seeds. There, just to garnish it. And I know it looks so fancy. That's our butternut soup. Test test. So for the test test, Paula is going to be testing for us. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so there you have it. That's our homemade butternut squash soup. So do try this and then let me know in the comment section. And tag me on my Instagram at emarilyn. I'm going to be putting my handle down in the description box. And toodles.